Hi, it's Tybug, and I just had my first ever ballet class. <laughs> Please ignore my appearance. I just got done working out, as you can tell. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. <sighs> yeah, nice try, your first ever ballet class. <laughs> this is YouTube. Everyone lies. I'm not lying, I swear. I've never, ever, ever taken ballet before. Like, it was offered at my school when I was younger, but at the same time, Taekwondo was offered. My mom was a ballerina and she never, ever wanted to force me into doing anything, so she and my dad let me decide what I wanted to go into. And <laughs> me being me chose to do Taekwondo. So while all the other little girls were getting dressed in their tutus, I was putting on my Taekwondo gi, getting ready to kick some butt. And I did Taekwondo for 14 years, so obviously it stuck. No, this isn't my first time ever dancing. I did hula for nine years when I was younger, and I did uh, hip hop and jazz for two years more recently, but I've never really wanted to do ballet until like, last year I got really into it for some reason and I was like I really just want to take a class to try it out and I was looking around for an actual beginners class I'll get more into that later and I found one at my local community oh my god and I found one at my local community college so I signed up and I had my first class and I love it so I will check back in with you guys at the end of my class and tell you guys how it went. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys in a few months. Bye. Several months later. Hi again. It's been four, a four months and a couple of days since I started ballet. And I'm actually really sad that all my classes are done now. It feels weird not having it like twice a week. Like, I'll just be walking around, going on my point, and all that, and just like doing my moves. Ballet has infected my life. So it's been like one week since I did my final, and I haven't, I asked, asked one of my friends in class to film it for me, and I haven't looked at it since. So now I'm gonna look back at it and kinda like critique myself, I guess. <laughs> So the dance we learned was Esmeralda, um, I don't know what part of Esmeralda it was, but to kind of like preface this a bit, I guess, my classmates learned this dance like a week before I did because I was sick. Um, this is when I was doing the haunted house when we learned the dance and I was sick a lot so I didn't go to classes during the week so I could work. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so I kind of learned this dance very quickly without a lot of like the step-by-step -step instructions. I kind of just learned it by watching everyone and like that's fine. That's how I learned a lot of my trades, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna start watching it now. Okay, so <laughs> just looking at myself already, I look very stiff and stern. And all my classmates are sitting in front of me, right by the mirror, and then my teacher is grading me off to the side. So, like, it's very intimidating. This is the first time we've, I've done it by myself. And then this is when I realized that the dance is a lot slower than I actually thought it was, so, like, I had to slow down a little bit. And my coping mechanism is just to smile through it. <laughs> so I'm in beginning ballet and like our classes joined to um, continue in beginning ballet and continuing beginning ballet oh my god that's such a mouthful they did uh, their requirement was to do two pirouettes but since I'm in the beginning since I've never done ballet before we only had to do one but then when we were practicing our dance and stuff I my teacher told me I could do two because like I had one down and then like I, for the final, I was like, I don't know if I can do two. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fall because our floor is very slippery because we don't have um, resin, I think it's called. So, like, 
there's a lot of dust on the floor and stuff, and I fall a lot. But like, since he's seen me do two pirouettes, I had to do two for the final. And then um, my classmates haven't seen me done two before, so that's why they all cheered. And I was like, I'm really, I'm like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> and then like, uh, the move I did after the pirouettes, the rond de Jean, I like made such a big deal about learning that because like we did that at bar all the time. And I was like, there's rond de Jean after the pirouette. <laughs> yeah, and then this is me dancing now. I was just like, whoo, I got the first part done. Smile, Ty. <laughs> there he is. One, two, pirouette now. Oh, and there I almost fell. That side of the room was significantly slipperier than the other side of the room. So like that turn, I'm lucky I didn't fall on my side because I have fallen on my side doing that turn before. <laughs> and then this is like with the fan or the tambourine. And then this, you're supposed to bend your knee and I was like, ah, I always bend my knee too much. And then going to the corner and I was like made a big gesture with my arm. Oh, and then this is the hardest part here. Oh god, my legs like get sore just thinking about it. You'll see why. And then I just took a deep breath there because I'm like, this is it. <sighs> what? And then this you're supposed to be on your toes the whole time, but I could not do that. I'm lucky because I'm flexible so I could kick that high, but like, oh, there we go, one. <laughs> I put my hand on my heart there because I was breathing so hard after that kick sequence and I was just oh, relieved I was finally done. And like having my classmates up in the front was so nice because like we're all super supportive since we're all beginning. And just like seeing them cheering me on, oh my god, it was just like, oh, I'm done, everyone's clapping for me, oh my god. But I took my first ballet class at a community college because I was scared to take it at an actual um, studio. The first time I took classes at a studio, it was beginning jazz and beginning hip hop. And um, the people who were in my class were not beginners, <laughs> they were... Um, they were in like in hip hop one and hip hop two and uh, the um, advanced classes, but they just took the beginning class because the beginning class and then the advanced class, they were in the same time period. So in my beginning class, there were a whole bunch of advanced people. So I was like, oh, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. And then next to me, everyone was like super advanced. So like when I was like, I really want to take a ballet class, but I don't want to take it at a studio and do that whole experience again. So <laughs> I was like, let's, go to an actual beginner's class please <laughs> but oh my god I'm so proud of myself that dance isn't that hard but like there's a lot of uh, like technical things you have to think about in it I'm really bad at um, making sure I point my toes when we do the steps because a lot of the time I'll just do a step and then I will point my toes going into the step I mean if you know ballet you get this but like I don't really know ballet either yet. But, um, and another thing I need to work on is uh, spotting, cause like, I don't understand spotting a lot. I can like do it if I do it slow, but then once I start doing a spin, I forget. And I have a really bad problem when I work out, I do not breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out one of these days. But like, there's so many things going on in my head and like, when am I supposed to breathe? Because they always tell you you're supposed to breathe at certain times. And when someone tells me when I'm supposed to breathe, I'm like, how am I supposed to breathe? I don't know how. <laughs> but yeah, so I love ballet so much. I do it all the time now, and since my class is over, um, I still do my workouts so I can keep my abs, because I love my abs now. And um, I don't have a bar to practice, but I kind of just like hold on to the wall, but I love it so much, I still do it. So um, if you guys are ever thinking of doing ballet, but you feel like you're too old, I would just like to tell you, you're never too old to start. Um, community college is a really good place to start. 
my dog. Hello. <laughs> it may be intimidating to start at first, but like, it's so much fun. You'll love it. I loved it. I love it. Words. <laughs> but yeah, I encourage you guys to try something new. I was gonna post this at on the new year because like it'd be part of the oh new year new me I'm trying new things but like I finished the class already and I just I wanted to share it so that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed I hope this encourages you to try something new or at least try ballet and I'll see you guys in a week or two <laughs> thanks for watching like and subscribe bye